Fellas, we did it a while ago where we did the top 10 best, worst, and most missed potential skins of 2021, and we kind of forgot to do them for 2022, but now that 2023 is almost over, it seems like a good time to do it, right? I think. Well, we're gonna start off today. We have the tep- uh, the, the. <laughs> These lists are not necessarily in any specific order. Some I do think are worse or better than the others, but it's not really in any specific order. It's just a list of 10, all 2022 releases. So you won't see any, what skins came out this year. Honorable mention number one. <laughs> On PC, has Akshan gotten another skin since this? No. We already just got a skin line of champions and fancy tuxedos, and then you just did it for Akshan. The idea behind this skin is just, what if character in fancy clothes? It's really f***ing boring. Second honorable mention, we have Lunar Eclipse Senna. It's Blade. Why in the universe of knights. I think Lunar Eclipse Senna was the first new era of prestige skins. They changed it to like high fashion and that one, I'm not going to count prestige skins on this list because that would be too easy. And final honorable mention we have is this is cheating because they're not bad. I think all of Spirit Blossom Wave 2 was mid. Now we can get on to the actual top 10. And granted, it's not in any particular order. Maybe as we get towards the top, they will get a bit more egregious, but my number 10 pick is Sea Dog Yasuo. Why? <laughs> what is this? A hypothetical Buru Yasuo? So this released along the same time as Gangplank the Betrayer. Gangplank, I get releasing individually because it's a lore skin. It makes sense. That's how we looked like in the Rune King. What is this? I feel like we just had to meet some kind of Yasuo yearly skin quota and they're like, oh, sh it's been four months without a Yasuo skin. We got to make one. Buru Yasuo, Link Gangplank, just throw it in there. I don't know. It's not aggressively terrible. It just feels so random and unnecessary. He got that dog in him. I guess he do. How did you make a skin line where every character looks almost identical and somehow Zed still looks boring. I feel like Zed has this weird ongoing problem. Pretty much every skin they put him in, it feels like this skin line wasn't meant for him and they didn't really have an idea for what they do for them in this universe. They just threw the popular ninja in the skin line. He's a money skin, like Coven Akali. Exactly. It feels like they forced in the ninja for money. Now moving on, I guarantee you at least half of you will forget this even happened. You guys remember this? This is Strike Commander Camille. You don't remember it? This is the same universe as Gun Goddess Misfortune. Like, look, what am I supposed to get from this? What did they do to your face, Camille? What did they do? <laughs> Every skin, I swear, she gets younger. And it's so uncanny. I don't even know what to say about this one. Oh, the novel. Let's turn Camille into a cyborg. <gasps> wow, so like, next you're gonna tell me you're gonna make a skin of Nazis where he's a dog. A cool scar. It doesn't. Is it a scar? It looks like a, it's painted on. It's got line art. It's forgettable and completely redundant. I'm already gonna forget about it probably the moment I switch to the next one. And the next one is similar to Spirit Blossom where they released a second batch of skins. I don't think it's quite to the same level as Spirit Blossom where not all of them were so aggressively mid, but there is one that I think was a sorely missed opportunity. And the more I thought about it, the worse it's gotten over time. That's Space Group Twisted Fate. It could have been so much better than this. That's not Wukong. <laughs> They really tried to go for the lava lamp aesthetic for uh, Space Group Wave 2, and it just does not work for Twisted Fate, I don't think. There is one good thing about it where as you're flipping through the cards on W, it plays a little music track. That's great. But besides that, it just, it feels very uninspired. Especially since we'll get to it, there's a skin Twisted Fate should have gotten this uh, that year that he didn't get. Why in the world is there still no Arcana Twisted Fate? The skin line is about cards. How? <laughs> You fellas remember last year we saw the return and hopefully the end of High Noon. There's a few good ones in there. We'll get to it when we get to it. I think some of them are actually the best skins of the year. But there's one that is so much worse than all the others. It's laughable. What is this? What is that? What did you do to him? Why? At the start of High Noon, because Scion came out in Wave 2. In Wave 1, we got Mordekaiser. And Mordekaiser, even though it didn't execute it fantastically, was supposed to be like, oh, he's like the mechanical train creature. But then Scion comes and is like, hey, I'm also the mechanical train creature. 
How? I don't like the automaton aesthetic they have for High Noon, because like, what about this reads as automaton? Nothing. Nothing. I hope they don't do more stuff like this, where they release like 10 skins for an event, because half of them become completely unimportant and forgettable. Speaking of Star Guardian, that one had a lot, and there definitely was a worse one there for me. And not even because the skin is bad. How could you do this to her, right? You knew Star Guardian was going to be the biggest event of the year. You knew. Why would you release Neela at the exact same time and then pretend like she's important that she's been there the whole time? No, you just released a new champion and didn't give her any breathing room at all. Poor Neela, dude. She didn't get any time in the spotlight. Also, what is her familiar? Is this supposed to be Ash Lash in this dimension? I'm cheating with number four. Rarely ever will a skin line release and all of them are duds. All the Zenith Games skins. Ugh. Who is that? It's so boring. And they use it all on champions that have really clunky models as well. That doesn't help. At least Lee, Lee Sin, uh, retains his visual clarity, right? Dude, in game, if you've seen this model in game, one gauntlet being so large, you'd be hard pressed to think this was Ezreal. I don't think anyone liked these. I rarely see anyone use these. All these champions have far better skins than this. They're just, it was such a miss. I appreciate them trying to bring back the football skins in some way, but I uh, know. On to number three, now we get into the worst of the worst. I've talked about monster champions a lot on this channel. And sometimes Riot likes to take those monster champions and make them human. What the fuck? What did you do to them? How could you do this to Lamb? It's horrible. I, I can't explain it without showing it to you. Let's take a look at this abomination, shall we? Okay, for like, <laughs> run haste. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, this is awful. It, yeah, burn it, burn it in hell. This is terrible. <laughs> Can I move on? Do I have to explain this one any further? I think I've explained myself well enough. The next one is a Silas skin, because Silas got two. I think Battle Wolf is worse. Silas, up until Battle Wolf, had been shirtless in every skin he was in. Open jacket, completely shirtless, Gorilla, but up till this point it was assumed I guess this is an essential part of Silas's design that no matter what you do You have to make him shirtless and for a skin line like the battle bunnies and stuff The whole concept of the skin line is supposed to be dumb corny stupid huh? Sexy skins so in the one skin where making Silas shirtless would actually make sense That's the skin line they give him a shirt what? The other battle bunny or whatever they're called, Animus Squad, they're fine. Silas is just like, okay, th this is just weird. I may have skipped out on Ashen Knight. Silas, you already know where I'm going with this. The worst skin of 2022 belongs to f***ing Ashen Knight Pantheon. With a P. We went from Pike to Pantheon. Um, actually, Ashen Conqueror. Yes, they renamed it to Ashen Conqueror because people were like, well, he doesn't look like a knight. He has no armor. Well, we hear your feedback. So we changed his name. That's not what we were complaining about. <laughs> like, Ashen Knight Pike was one of the best skins I think Riot has ever made. And then just, whoop, poof, down we go. Pantheon would have looked awesome in fully decked out armor. The helmet is just weird looking. Like, why the weird feathers in the beard? It's it's like a weird alternate version, like a purple chroma of Ruin Pantheon. And then they start to redeem themselves with Ash and Shen and Mordecai. And they're like, okay, we're back on track. And then the skin line ended. Fuck. <laughs> There we go. That was what I think the 10 worst skins of 2022. I think, again, they're not completely in order, but Ashen Knight Pantheon is definitely the worst in my eyes. But next time, we'll be back with the missed potential skins of 2022. And this one has a bit of a twist, so I'll catch you on that one, all right? Ah!